Fist, Stretch, David Evans. Sein Gegner kommt aus Esslingen in Deutschland. In diesem Jahr war er bei der Hülocare PDC Europe Super League am Start und feiert heute sein Euro. Moving 6-4 against Jonathan Worsley in the opener. Mervyn King, a semi-finalist in Hildesheim uh, last time. 6-5 against Mindaugas Borowskis and Ricardo Prochesco with the finest perf uh, performance in finishing terms of the day so far. 6 out of 10 on his doubles and a 6-1 defeat of Luke Woodhouse. Prochesco, the first of nine German players involved this weekend to advance to round two. Kai Gotthard. Could well be a second, although he does have a bit of a task ahead of him because he faces a man who is on cloud nine at the moment, David Evans, the 30-year-old from Manchester. Not only winning the Challenge Tour last weekend, but also securing with it a two-year tour card and a place at the World Championship as well. He must be absolutely buzzing right now, and I can tell you somebody else who is as well. It's Dan Dawson, because he has had one heck of an ordeal to get here. But here he is, once again, a European Tour weekend. He'll tell you all about his... Well, his trials and his tribulations on the German transport network to boot as well. But uh, first of all, Dan, a quick word about these two. Yeah, well, David Evans, very excited to see him have a, a crack. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Tour. First leg, it's Kai to throw first. Game on. But there's a lot to be excited about with both of these guys because Kai Gotthardt, after well over a dozen attempts to get on the European tour, has finally managed to do so and did so in style in the host nation qualifier. 103 and a bit average in his decisive game, which is a sign that he's got some oh, talent. 134. He has had cracks before at qualifying for this, obviously, but he's also had cracks at Q School and hasn't managed to make it through. But then David Evans had tried Q School and not 60. made it through, and yet has won a couple of Challenge Tour titles this year, won the Order of Merit, got himself on the tour, and he's already a World Championship quarter finalist in the BDO. 140. Paul Nicholson certainly who's had a, a good long look at him over this summer playing in the, the Modus Leagues. David Evans was pretty much the most consistent performer. We've seen 59. A lot of big averages from him, admittedly in slightly shorter format games. But he's got something as stretch. And as well as a bit of talent, he must be absolutely 80. flying in terms of confidence as you mentioned in your intro there. yeah he keeps good company as well Evans he works I believe a couple of days every week at a pub called or I suppose he used to it was open, the Arms in St Helens is a place that's so frequented by Stephen Bunsing and Kai Fan Lung as well they're all part of the same darts league up there and uh, he's uh, obviously been rubbing shoulders with those two and others oh, in seven. that neck of the woods as oh, well so he's, he's well known to a lot of darts players already uh, and he's good friends with Glenn Durant, who was one of the first to uh, congratulate him last weekend uh, via text after his exploits 46. in the Barsley. Bit of a let off there for Evans 50. with uh, Gotthardt missing that opportunity at double 16. Evans now looking at 50 to take the opener, and it would be a break of throw as well. Uh, no problem the first for leg. double 16 David. for Stretch. Second leg is David uh, to throw first. Game on. Nil. Oh, 14 dart start for David Evans. Not bad at all, but Kai Gotthardt missing. The same target, double 16. Encouraging start to this one. 134. Just to put that, you mentioned that average last night, 103.6 or so against Lucas Vanig, who we saw last time mm -hmm. in Hildesheim. Just to give that a further bit of context, when you look at what he did in the previous matches, he averaged 82 in his win against uh, Marcus Kessler in the second qualifier. So he, he improved his average by 21 points there or thereabouts. Uh, over the course of the evening. He started off with an average of 87 against Nico Springer. I mean, that's one heck of a step up. And the other thing is, as well, he was 2-1 down in that match, and then he just reeled off 
two 100. 12 dart legs back to back, two 14 darters back to back. And even then, Vaney sort of threatened a bit of a fight back towards the end of it as well. And we, we saw last time at the Euro Tour, Lucas Vaney can be a dangerous player. Mm. But for Kai Gotthard, oh, 97. who has had many, many attempts to get on the Euro Tour, to finally really turn up in one of those decisive games. 100 of Maybe it says that he's ready. And they he's do a pretty young man. Yeah, he's only 29. Oh, hello. Another. Whoa, wrong side of it. But he's still probably favourite for this leg right now. 94. Guy Uruguay, 140. Oh, plenty of room. Ooh. 100. David Uruguay, nice pace 76. About as much as well. Got out a very quick thrower. Not quite in the Ricky Evans bracket, but uh, Evans now looking at 56. Back upstairs for tops then. 56. Oh, just dipped. Oh, you require 40. Well, it's the same situation, but rolls reverse on the first leg. Well, the player thrown first. Misses yeah, the, the second leg. For a 15 Kai darter, And their opponent Third steps in to Kai break to with a 14 darter. Game on. Yeah, similar passage of play to our opening match of the day. Kai Van Hoven and Worsley with five successive breaks of throw to start things off. 100. We'll have a similar situation here as well Gotthard as well unlucky not to go further in the German Super League earlier this year the uh, tournament won by Nico Kurtz which guaranteed his place in the World Championship Nico will be with us this weekend as well against Stefan Belmont later or Belmont I should say later on um, but ultimately it came down to a, a match against Michael Unterbuchner who again we'll see later on yeah, that's a um, Euro Tour debut for him. Yeah, which is it, surprising. Which is bizarre. Yeah, I mean, he's one hundred and four the usual suspects. He's one of probably the biggest names in German darts. Absolutely. Dart. Quarter finalist at the Grand Slam. Two time semi finalist at the BDO World Championship as well. Kai Gotthard is at a maximum in every leg so far. I'm making notes on that one, Dan. One hundred and there's another one from Evans in response. Can you require eighty-one? Well, Forty-one left after nine for David Evans. And if this hits the ball, forty-five. Gone and shot at it. David, you require oh, it's a bit of a wild one. Luckily, it's uh, landed in the fourteen, so he's left himself double eighteen if he gets the chance. But Evans looking at uh, double sixteen for a third yeah, successive break. Third throw. Leg, That's exactly David what we Evans. have. Really good well, match this one. David to throw first. Uh, had Game this one marked down as a, a potential match of the day, or certainly a match of the afternoon session. And uh, so far, it is living up to expectations. Absolutely. Well, we talked about 103.6 being a very, very good standard for Kai Gotthard to achieve, particularly when it was about 20 points more than the average he was producing Before. in the previous rounds of the qualifying last night. Right now, Kai Gotthard is averaging higher than that. He's averaging around the 106.7 mark. I know we're only three and a bit legs in, but look, this is a very encouraging start. But he finds Whoa. himself 2 1 down to a man averaging closer to 110. Mm. Look at oh, that. There you go. Beautiful figures on a Friday afternoon. Oh, the last Palace. That's exactly what we need on a Euro Tour weekend day one. Almost a. Well, he's a host nation qualifier, obviously, but this is almost like a, a home tournament for Kai Gotthard. He's uh, from nearby Esslingen, which is uh, just down the road here in. Baden Wuttenberg. Did he pass through Esslingen on the journey that the Maybe. epic journey that you had to I've been everywhere else to be honest. One hundred and eight. Kai Gotthard. It is four one eighties in four legs of darts from this German making his debut on the European Tour. This is absolutely top quality scoring. This is Devon Peterson territory. Yeah, it really is. Can you require eighty eight? Eighty eight then for another break of throw. Oh. Beautiful setup. Double fourteen. Will have chances yeah, on the if he misses, but he Kai doesn't. Got <laughs> Fifth leg, it's Kai it's to a throw compelling first. encounter, this one, no doubt about it. Really good watch. 14 dart break from Evans. 14 dart break back Game from Gotthard. 11 dart break from Evans. 12 dart break back from Gotthard. Is this another? He's not going to do it again, is he? Why not? Oh, yes! <laughs> this is astonishing! Five and five. Thirty-four. Oh, Scott and Jason Lowe follow these two, and they've got a well, a very big task in terms of emulating these two. 
He was almost in again there, wasn't uh, he? He's 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 threatened a nine dart, a four perfect darts. But, uh, well, plenty of other perfect darts alongside for Gotthard and Evan so far. And, uh, well, you look at this match and the way it's shaping up and you suspect now it's the case that holds of throw could prove decisive. 100. Evans, I think, all of a sudden is under a little bit of pressure now. And with, I mentioned it to Paul earlier just before the match as well, 100. describing this as a, you know, effectively Evans playing with the house money, a bit of a free hit for him given everything he's achieved this week so far. But make no mistake, he will want to do business here this weekend. He, now he's on the big stage with the... European tour field, he'll want to put uh, or he'll want to make a good account of himself, or give a good account of himself. Well, look, winning and winning titles. Forty-five. A feeling that you just want to keep hold of. You go and talk to somebody like John Pot. That feeling of being the best on the day doesn't matter with tour event, big event, challenge tour, anything. It changes your mindset. David Evans coming here 95. on the Euro Tour. As Kai Gotthard looks at the 20 segment and now looks at double five for a 3 2 lead and he busts no his score. score. Oh. Kai Gotthard is firing in massive scores every single visit and that one was too many. Reprieve here for Evans. 62. Kai Gotthard 95. We'll hoping for some more good fortune to come back as well because Gotthard. Left himself 70. Oh, he's left no, himself 69. He's gone from one extreme 41. to the other. He's busted his score. And then he's hit a single one to leave 69. And uh, it's a complete mess from Gotthard. And it's all just beginning to unravel here. And Evans has another opportunity this time at double eight. And that's an absolute yeah, steal from David, David Evans. David Evans. How on earth he's won so that leg? I do not know. But it's three two. And it's five breaks Game out of five. On. Well, an absolute lesson in what not to do on 95 from Kai Gotthard. First he busts it, trying to hit double five, and it's double 12. Then he misses oh, a big number 34. and doesn't even get a dart at the bullseye, which is the whole reason he went for the ball in the first place. And he's going to throw another 180. Why not? 180! <laughs> well, he started off like this. That's astonishing. Six in six legs. Five and a half legs. Now, we're genuinely... We're talking record we're territory. We're talking record territory here. The most in a Euro Tour game, I believe, from a single player is 10 from Peter Wright. But that was in a first to seven game, a semi-final. Mm. The most we've seen in a first to hey, six game is nine. Two players have done that, Darrell Gurney and Michael Smith. And Peterson went close last time out, didn't he? He did hit eight, I believe. He hit eight in one match. 100. But if this goes 6-5 and he maintains the average... 140! Then we could be in for something special. We could be in for a, a European saw record. Stay with us here on PDC TV. Something might happen here. Evans looking at 2-1-2, looking to make an impression here to leave double 16. That's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful from David Evans. Challenge tour winner underlining why he is such a class act. Oh, double-double. 76. Oh, can't produce it. David Uruguay's 32. For the double double finish. And David Evans, he's only hit two 180s compared to Kai Goddard's six. Yeah, but they have been leg. timed David absolutely Evans. magnificently. Some leg is Kai to throw first. Wants to leave 32 to pressure just there, and then he wins the leg. And wants to leave 41 to pressure Kai Goddard. And it worked. He won that leg. 45. As well. And we see a two leg gap open up. It's the first holder throw we've seen in this game. David Evans. Well. Right things at the right moments. Worth noting, by the way, that Michael Smith, those nine 180s that you hit in a best of 11 match on a European tour, he did somehow manage to lose that game. <laughs> and so, something similar could happen here. Yeah, Gotthard could, go you know, could go away with eight or nine 180s today and still lose. And he, he may well lose with an average of about 102 as well, the way things are going. There's barely a fact paper between them as far as the averages are concerned right now. 59. But the all important stats four from six for Evans on the finishing, two from eight. But Gotthard's in that 95 issue in leg five really may well prove to be the, well, one of the decisive, or certainly the biggest decisive factor in this match. Well, that's it. Two out of eight on the doubles, and he should have had more than double in that leg because he made a, such a horrendous mess of 95 on two occasions. Are we going to see a 180? No, not this time. 85. One hundred. 
interesting decision to stay up there on the treble 20. I mean, he is a massive man, David Evans, so maybe he thinks he can go over the top of some of those blockers. How guys. tall is oh, he? 99. David Duke, 151. I'm guessing 6'5", maybe? I would guess so, yes. Kai Gotthard is not going to hit a 180 in this leg, but he will not care if he can just hold his throw for the first time in this match. 31. Hasn't Kai Gotthard, 116. Like. 120, of course, Shanghai finish is gettable. Single 16. These double top. 96. Yeah, another missed start at a double. David Duke, 120. It may well prove to be his undoing, scoring big and scoring well, but Evans can step in once again here with a Shanghai finish on 20s, and it's tops for another leg on the board. It would be a little play, but he's a long way off that uh, particular time. 20. Well, to hold his throat, to cut the gap. Surely that is a help. That isn't. Yeah, on the seventh this leg. time, double Kai five is pinned, uh, causing problems early on when he busts his score, hitting double 12, but this time finds the mark, and Kai Gotthard holds his throw and cuts the gap. And we have got a real game here, both men averaging just shy of 100. 140. Oh, that first nine average from Kai Gotthard. Trying to think, like, it's the first time I've seen Kai play 95. in the flesh. And maybe I'm reading this wrong. I've had a traumatic journey here, but he looks to me like if you had a cut and shot between Conan Whitehead and Keegan Brown, that's pretty much. I, I got the Keegan Brown one. I was trying. I was quietly just muttering to myself about who the other guy was in the mix there. I think. I think there's an element of both in there. Certainly, Keegan 59. Brown. Fifty-nine. See that a mile off. Daniel Day, another name that's just been thrown into the mix by part of our team here. So that's not a bad shout. 140. David Evans leaves 1-2-1. One, one. And unless this is another maximum from Gotthard, and it's not going to be, Evans knows he gets two visits from here. 101. David Duke, 121. Not enough of him. Does he go bullseye first here in this situation? No, he's going very conventionally. He doesn't need to go 11s here. Ah, it's the 25. Mm. 85. Uh, you see, the problem there, if you go second dart, then you hit the bullseye, then you can get in a little bit of bother in the end. He'll be coming back with three clear darts at double eight. Do you have one crack at it? Yeah, and if you come inside on 18, yeah, on the eight leg, nine, uh, David other problems can develop. But uh, no kind to throw first. for David Evans. Game on. Uh, once again. It's a hold of throw, and he's one leg away. Here's another name to throw at you as well, Mencius Sulovic. Not in terms of the resemblance, but in terms of who the winner of this match will face in round two. What a good contest that will be as well. I don't think we've seen the best of Mencius lately. I think he's uh, certainly long overdue a much improved performance uh, in one respect or another. Yeah, looking a bit fragile, Mencius. Even when he's played well, he's found ways to lose games, and he's not always played well. So I think David Evans... Well, fancy that. Yeah, look, well, I don't Kai Gotthard has thrown the kitchen sink at David Evans here. The first six legs, he's thrown six 180s, and David Evans has just shrugged and said, what of it? And he finds himself in a position where he can win the match 6-3 here. Oh, 137. Very, very impressive display from David Evans. More than 50% on the 45. doubles, averaging a ton, and managing to live with a man who's been scoring so very, very heavily. Yes, he survived a fair few darts at double, David Evans, but what he's done is keep his composure and keep plugging away. And once again, we see him leave a finish after nine darts, and David Evans, I think he's got this game sewn up. Yeah, cricketing analogy, I think he's batted his way into this match very well, Evans. He's, uh, you know, just nibbled away at the singles, and he's hitting the fours and sixes now. And he's in a very good position. Couldn't quite find the treble 18 that would have left the 50. There would have been no 42. need to be so aggressive, but a little slip up there. But you suspect, given the way he has finished, he should be okay. But of course, when you approach that finish line, it could well be a very different story. David, you require 82. Goddard has left himself the Shanghai. Will he get the chance? Evans looking at 82. He's now looking at 57. And he's now looking at tops. Five out of nine so far, make that Game six shot. out of ten. And That's a very, very David impressive Evans. performance by David Evans on his European Tour debut. That's a really strong showing, an average of 100.29, six out of ten on the finishing, and withstanding a lot of scoring pressure in the early stages in particular from Kai Gotthard. That was really, really good stuff from David Evans, the Challenge Tour winner.
and a man we'll see a lot more of over the next two years on the PDC circuit. It really means business, and I tell you what, Mencio Silovic may well have his work cut out tomorrow. Evans through to the second round here in Sydney. David, congratulations. A great win and, and a great match it was. He threw a, a lot at you there. Absolutely. I mean, um, I've seen Kai practicing and yesterday as well when he qualified as well. I saw a few of his games, so uh, it was a very good game to be involved in, yeah. Last couple of weeks and months have been re going really well for you. You seem to be playing with a lot of confidence at the moment. Absolutely. I mean, um, during obviously the, the lockdowns and things like that, I was playing Modus League and Online League and stuff like that, so it's, it's helped me a lot, yeah. We're looking forward to your second round match tomorrow against uh, Mensah Suryovic. Any thoughts on playing him? No, no, I mean, I'm confident in my game, so I'm playing well the last few months. So um, hopefully we'll, me and Mensah will have a good game like that was as well. So, yeah. Congratulations one more time and best of luck tomorrow. Ladies and gentlemen, Thank David you. Evans. Thanks.